everyone, and welcome to this old arcade. I'm Tim. Uh, today, uh, we're going to start on a uh, Silent Scope EX project. Um, uh, I picked this up. It was uh, blind. The monitor wasn't working, and uh, the game board isn't working. Uh, it was just a, a need. The monitor needed to be uh, recapped, so that's fine now. Even though um, I may upgrade this one to a LCD by the time I'm done. The EX motherboard does have a VGA output on it. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, this cabinet splits in half. There's uh, six bolts, three on either side, and it uh, makes it really easy to move, plus the, uh, the header marquee pops off as well. Um, what we're going to do today is look at the um, backup data error uh, and uh, try to replace the uh, timekeeper chip and uh, see if we can get this thing uh, back up and running here. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in on the screen here and kind of take you through the diagnostics to show you. Actually, I'm going to reposition the camera. Hold on. All right, so um, this is how the machine is booting up here. I'm going to go into test here. They'll give you um, these three things here that it wants to look at on boot up. The gun check, uh, scope screen adjust, and uh, bookkeeping. We're going to go through and reset those and then go into um, a track mode and see just what happens. Let's see here. So I'm going to go gun check. And my start button will just do a. Uh, okay, so it already gave me a hardware error. It says RTC write error. That's our uh, real time clock. Uh, let's see if it'll reboot here. It goes through its media check. I have been able to get it to come up into a track mode for just a brief moment. Go back into here. All right, let's do, we'll do bookkeeping first. Uh, all I, oh, it wants the time and date. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> It's just going nuts there. I'm going to save an exit, but I don't think that's good. Hardware error. Okay. All right. Let's get into the uh, computer here and see what's going on. All right. So we've got this, um, this base here just flipped around. Um, you can see this uh, setup's a little bit different than uh, the Silent Scope 1 and 2. Um, you've got a VGA connector on the side here, and this is um, uh, this is a JAMA interface. It's actually uh, this one says JAMA, this one doesn't, but it's um, a real interesting setup. So we're gonna unplug this, pull this out, pop this case open, and take a look at that uh, timekeeper chip. This whole thing's in a drawer that slides, of course. These connectors will plug into um, the Silent Scope 1 and 2 if you have the other uh, interface. It's the whole case. Uh, in this particular one here, the memory card's right up here on top. These last two connectors are going to be a pain. Got one. Aha, I got it. Let's see, what do I have? Looks like I have two quarter inch screws here. I'm going to set the microphone down. Thank you for helping.
All right, let's pop this case off and take a look at the board. All right. Um, so we're just going to have to pop off all these screws around the case, take the interface board off. And they got a lot of screws around this thing. Now with this uh, 25 kilohertz output in this VGA plug here, you can plug that right into a computer monitor and it gives it a pretty nice picture. This is a little tight here on these connectors. Okay, here's our interface board. Let's put that aside. Now there's there's five more screws at the front here. Okay, here we go. Let's pop these out here. And I see that timekeeper chip. Let me give you a better look at the board here. Alright, so here's our memory card here. Here's our timekeeper chip. It's um, M48T58Y-70PC1. Um, I've already ordered a couple of these in from China, so they're already here. And uh, we'll pop this out and replace that. So hang on. Okay, here we go. Got this popped out. You can see the back side here. And then there's our hole through pins for that timekeeper. Um, I'm going to go very carefully and solder that. Alright, so um, 
I've got the board all put back together and installed in the machine and we're ready to plug it in and uh, see the big moment of truth. Let's see. Okay. We've got power. The computer comes up. Now I should have to uh, go through and recalibrate things, you know, set the time and so forth. Okay, backup data error. Okay, all right, let's uh, keep our fingers crossed. Go to the bookkeeping first. Okay, so I'm going to save and exit. Exit. Go to, just do a rough calibration on the scope screen. I'm just going to save and exit. Go through, do our gun calibration. working good enough for this. Exit. All right, here we go. Game mode. Okay, so far so good. All right, all right. I've never gotten this far before. A sniper must be unemotional, okay. extremely patient, and judge things correctly. Not to mention go back in and turn the sound down on this. Uh, let's see, is that sound options? Sound in the track mode. Down. I'll just save and exit. Game mode and we'll coin it up and uh, play a game here. I'm excited. If the coin switches are hooked up. Okay, one credit. I've never gotten this far before. One, oh, more coins. Okay. Well, uh, besides the monitor not looking quite so hot, um, the focus is as focused as it will get with this tube. I haven't put it on the tube tester yet, and um, I may have to um, even replace the flyback if the uh, focus control is... Let's see here. Oh, the scope's working. The scope's working. Got it. Okay. All right. Very exciting, guys. So um, that timekeeper chip uh, fixed the problem. Uh, the socketing was a good, a good idea on there. Um, and. Uh, uh, stay tuned for more on this project. We're going to go through, clean this thing up, and uh, get it all in good working order. I'm going to replace some T molding and some other minor things. Um, I go through the monitor, uh, put it on the tester, and see uh, what shape the tube is. And that'll, that'll help me decide whether to flat screen it or not. Uh, these look awesome on a flat screen, uh, even the silent scope one in the dark silhouette so till then uh thanks for joining us here at uh, this old arcade